The only way to spare more pain and more loss, the only way these millstones no longer mark our national mourning, these milestones, I should say, no, no longer mo- mark our national mourning. Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Racha Kodesh. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that rule well and labor in the word and doctrine. Shalom, the Bakhaya, peace unto the elect. So, have this one, Seh. Mr. Biden, you have Revelation 16 and 10, in fact, yes, 10. It says, And the fifth angel poured out his vial upon the seat of the beast that represents Mystery Babylon, the great, the whore, the harlot, um, Egypt, spiritual Egypt, spiritual Sodom. And that's what that's the, um, the governance of where that man there sits. And the fifth angel poured out his vial upon the seat of the beast, and his kingdom was full of darkness. They nod their tongues for pain. So that's pain. That's pain. You said pain and loss. That's pain. They blaspheme the power of heaven because of their pains and their sores. And repented not of their deeds. So even, even in that time, great affliction, pain, loss. Because loss will happen. And we have loss. Isaiah 47, verse 8. It says, Therefore now hear this. In fact, verse 1. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground, there is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans. For thou shalt no more and grow tender and delicate. Isaiah 47 and 8. Therefore hear now this, thou that art given to pleasures, that dwellest carelessly. And it says, he, She that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth. So, Mawath Abu Bar. Therefore now hear this, thou that art given to pleasures, that dwellest carelessly. It says in thine heart, I am, and none else beside me. I shall not sit as a widow, neither shall I know the loss of children. But these things shall come to thee in a moment, in one day. It says one day, one day the all them plagues of the morning. We talked about morning, all of that, and the desolation of Babylon will happen within one day. So it's perfect. But these two things shall come to thee in a moment, in one day, the loss of children and widowhood. Meaning what? Because she's likened unto a woman, Babylon, likened unto a harlot. The loss of children and widowhood, they shall come upon thee in their perfection for the multitude of thy sorceries and for the great abundance of thine enchantments. So not for no reason, but a just judgment, just, just sentence. We've got that. What did he say, woman? That was it, Salaki. Millstones, marking his national yawn, morning, <laughs> yawning. Isaiah 47 and 2. Take the millstones and grind meal, and cover thy locks, and make bare the leg, and cover the thigh, pass over the rivers. And Babylon, Esau Edom, is been making, being made bare, being made desolate, exposed. By Revelation 18 and 21. And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. They didn't want to make them say landmarks or punctuate the existence with millstones, something like that. We have this about morning, Revelation 18 and 8. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day. And it said it in, in a moment, in one day. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death, and mourning, and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, who judgeth her. And it says the, the merchants will weep and mourn over her. So let's see if we can find that. There you have it. 18, Revelation 18 and 19. And they cast dung on their heads and cried, weeping and wailing, saying, Alas, alas, the great city wherein we were made rich, or all that had ships in the sea by reason of her costliness, from one hour is she made desolate. So yeah, it says, Rejoice over her, thou heaven, and ye holy apostles and prophets, for Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai hath avenged you on her. 
knowing that that great city is Babylon. Revelation 17 and 5. And upon, and upon her forehead was the name written, Mystery, Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. And you have Revelation 11 and 8. I'll put 9, but I'm on 8. And the dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. And second is with 15, starting at 10. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before. I will destroy all the land thereof. Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment. Yahweh by Hashem Shai shall bring upon it. There's not a way to stop loss and pain, and the millstone will still mark the, the mourning and the desolation of Babylon the Great, the saith the scripture. So I pray that I was edifying unto the next one, Lord willing, giving all praises, honor and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Hashem Racha Kodash. These millstones no longer mark our national mourning.